When we talk about body position, a key factor in good body position and timing is the idea that we want to affect the bike as little as possible with our movements and for those movements to be performed at a more ideal time. One area where riders often fail to adhere to this ideal is when they set themselves up for the corner they're about to enter, which can often happen too late, sometimes to the point of moving around just as they begin steering or sometimes even past that point. In this video, I just want to go over the benefits of getting set up earlier, along with a quick recap on just what that looks like. How to get set up early. It really isn't that complicated, but it can have a noticeably beneficial effect on your corner approach and entry. All we're looking to do is get our seating position set well before we enter the corner. For me, this simply means moving my backside to the correct side of the bike moments before I sit up and begin braking. Then once I hit my braking marker, all I have to do is sit up and begin that braking routine and complete my downshifts. Then I'm ready to begin steering and leaning the bike into the corner, after which I'll begin to commit my upper body as the bike leans over too. So why does this help? As a newer rider, it isn't a huge issue if we're moving later in the braking zone or close to your steering point from a speed and safety point of view. In truth, your speed isn't high enough for this late move to reach a point of restricting your speed or causing big stability issues. And with the relaxed braking technique that many newer riders use, the rider still has plenty of time to get the move done. However, as you get faster, begin using more braking potential and you approach and enter corners with much more speed, the time you have to actually get the lower body set up will begin to diminish. And because you'll be closer to the limits of traction and your bike control will need to be a lot more precise, the instability you create by moving late is going to have a greater chance of causing an issue for you. Particularly in the heaviest braking zones when you're performing very hard brakes, it's almost impossible to move your seating position because you're so focused on the act of braking, correctly bracing yourself on the bike to stop yourself flying forward, as well as getting your downshifts done as you set your entry speed. Trying to move in the seat in that moment is not likely to bring positive results, if you can manage to move at all that is. So that leaves you with a short period of time as you ease off the brakes and begin entering the corner to get your lower body in position, which isn't a lot of time when you're really pushing on at a good pace. For all of those reasons, it makes sense to get into the habit of getting the move done earlier, so that all you have to think about as you approach the corner is downshifting and setting the correct speed ready for corner entry. A far simpler task when there's no body movement required in between. Something else to consider is cutting out any unnecessary moves. A quick point to further simplify your lower body movements over a lap is to cut out any unnecessary movements between corners for all the same reasons I just mentioned. For instance, in sections where you have two corners going in the same direction shortly after one another and a short straight in between, it makes no sense to move back into the middle of the seat between those corners, something I see a lot of newer riders doing. Once you move for the first corner, you can remain in that seating position as you exit that corner and accelerate down the short straight then you're already in position ready for the second one. Similarly, if the second corner goes in the opposite direction, simply move to the other side of the bike in one movement, cutting out any move into the middle of the seat between the two corners. You can likely cut out some, if not many, body movements by taking this advice, all of which is going to make your life easier and your corner entries less busy. Is this an area you're struggling with or maybe something you've worked on in the past? Tell us about it in the comments down below. And as always, if you like the video, then please hit the button and subscribe to the channel for more performance writing advice and guides moving forward. Take care.